Hi beauties, welcome back for another video. So I am back to show you guys how to um, properly take out a braidless crochet braid, okay? So I'm going to hop right into the video. This is the um, Harlem 125 Soul Wave. I'm going to leave the install uh, because when I initially installed it was 20, 20 inches. And I'm also going to include me cutting this hair um, in an iCard as well. Uh, if you're interested in this hair, I'm also going to leave the link down below. So let's get into cutting. Okay, so the first thing that you do not want to do when removing crochet braid, braids, braidless crochet braids, is to cut as close to the net as possible. Here's why. Because during your install, um, or during my install, I picked up some of my natural hair so that it's, it's secure and not going anywhere. Like, this is braidless, but I cannot take it off. Like, I'm actually, I mean, I'm not pulling, pulling, but I'm pulling to show you guys that it's not going anywhere. Okay, so in the front, if you did see this install, you will know that I do have three cornrows right here in the front. And what I'm going to do is take out those pieces separately. So I'm just gonna put this right here in the front. Twist it up and then go to the side. Let me show you guys the net. So here is the net. Like I'm pulling it so you guys can see. Okay? And this is the part where I cut and it pretty much like shrinks up. So what I like to do is take a section and I'm going to cut not as close to the net as I was telling you guys not to do in the beginning. But I'm just going to cut it short to where I know it's not anywhere near my hair. Okay? You never want to go in and just kind of cut like these pieces right here are uh, close to your scalp because like I said, it's, it's, it's the chances of you picking up your hair is really high, uh, actually cutting it. So I'm just going to cut here. There we go. Now from here, it's not worth to me going in and actually trying to get this lower. I just kind of go in with my fingers and pull it out. See? And I know this can be tedious, honestly. And if you want to cut down lower, you can. But um, the chances of me cutting my hair, I'll just rather put in the little bit of extra work that it takes. Now, of course, you don't want to try to take these out at the... You see? They're usually pretty easy to come out. So I'm going to just take a few out so you guys can see the net under it. about the braids is that you are um, pulling it so your braids are going to lift and this is also with the braidless too so you just want to be careful not to snip your braid because I have done it I'll leave the video right here I, I cut a big chunk of my hair out um, removing these crochet braids so it's better to be at least an inch in my opinion away from <laughs> your hair or the net just to be on the safe side. Same thing either. Mm -hmm. Who's the hair beside you? Okay, so here, here is the braid, okay? Un unarmed, oh well, why do I keep saying unarmed? Unharmed and everything is intact, okay? 
So that was just a quick demo. I am going to proceed to do this over my entire head, okay? But I just wanted to uh, come and show you guys just kind of what I do. Okay, you guys, so I have done most of my hair, but um, I'm back to kind of finish this little piece. Um, but I did want to point out that like some is only on the netting, as you can see here. Like some of this is on the netting and you'll be able to tell. You will also be able to tell when your hair is connected when you pull it up. That's why I said do not cut down too far. Um, no closer than an inch in my opinion. So I'm going to just cut this last little piece. And then take out the rest. Okay. And then I'll be back to where I started when I first installed this hair. Uh, the trick to pulling out this hair is to find the knot and just pull at the knot. Sometimes, uh, depending on how small or big the section is, the bigger pieces come out easier than the smaller pieces. Okay, so I can easily just take this cap off now. Hair look rough. Hope y'all love me anyway. But anyway, um, I hope this helps someone. I am going to take this out and... Um, deep condition, protein treatment, everything that I do after a protective style, but I hope I help someone out there. Here is the net. You can see, <laughs> you can see some of the pieces that's still up here, but uh, yeah, at least I ain't lose none of my real hair. But anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I look a hot mess. Okay. All right.